Peace and love, Pisces. Peace and love. This is going to be your weekly channel message for the week of December 3rd through December 9th. I do hope that the message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. Oh, I'm going to light an incense here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that looks a little better. All right, there we go. Um, let's see what spirit has for you this week. I'm going to clear out the energy from the Virgo reading. And then I am going to, um, channel some messages for you. And then we are going to get into the cards. all the Pisces this week. Pisces. I feel like spirit wants you to be true to yourself, okay? And then I don't know why I just saw someone leaving the door open, okay? So make sure you lock your doors. Um, make sure you don't... A door open could be a metaphor for exposure or like letting something in that is not necessarily supposed to be let in. You know how people say, um, you know, close the door. I don't want to let a bug in or something. I don't know. I feel like, um, close your door. Okay. Don't let everybody into your game room or into your business. Don't have everyone, um, like, knowing what's going on in your life, okay? But also, I feel spirit wants you to be true to yourself this week, okay? So there could be this energy of where you may be trying to fit in or you may be trying to be accepted by someone or either a group of people. And I feel like spirit is like, no, okay? Don't do that. Um... Stay true to yourself, okay? I don't know why I just got true to the game. Okay, and I believe one of the Kardashian kids' name is True. Okay. So, I feel like you have some riches coming in to you. Or, you know, people don't really like the Kardashians, Pisces. They don't. I, I don't know. It's this thing about people feeling like... They didn't earn their money, okay? Just because they may not have earned the money in the way that society would deem acceptable. So you could be doing things in your life where people are judging you because you may not be doing things in the way that they want you to be doing things, okay? But it's important for you to kind of weed out that energy and weed out those judgmental people and follow your own heart, okay? My stomach just started growling, okay? So some of you are hungry for something, Okay, or you could be fasting, detoxing, or with withholding from some type of food. Um, but some of you are hungry for some type of success. Four of hearts energy here, okay? You're hungry for some type of success or some type of growth or some type of change, okay? I'm getting a desire, a heavy desire, okay? And with the four of hearts here, this is a happy home, a happy family, a loving relationship, a loving situation, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, this is what you're you're wanting. You're wanting true love, okay? You're wanting the true love where you love yourself unconditionally, but also where someone else can love you unconditionally. Because I'm kind of getting that energy where it's like people always say, well, there is no better love than self-love. Well, that's true, but we still are human and we do crave the love and affection from someone else. So I feel like what you are seeking is also seeking you. And I feel as if 
you are trying to manifest love, okay? Some of you could have recently got your heart break, broken. Now, notice that the four card, okay, the number four deals with the home as well. So, I feel like you just want to bring happiness back into your home, back into your vicinity, okay? Back into your energy. You just want to be happy, okay? I feel like some of you could, if you don't have, like, if you're not married with children, I feel like you could want that, okay? You could want to, you could be at the stage in your life where you're feeling like it's time to settle down. It's time to get married. It's time to have children. You just, I don't know. For some of you, you feel like this is going to bring you happiness, okay? I can't tell you whether it will or not because we're all different, but you feel like you want to build a home for yourself. Some of you could be wanting to buy a home. You may feel like that's going to bring you happiness, okay? You could be wanting to build a home or build a solid foundation with someone that you love and start a family. This is the family card, the love within the family and the happiness card. All right, you could be dealing with someone born in April. Oh, you are coming out in your own reading here with the 12th house. Pisces rules the 12th house. It says seeking oneness with all there is. Just like I said, you want to become one with someone. You want to become one with life, okay? Uh, becoming one means feeling whole, okay? And that's what basically I was just saying. You may feel like something is missing in your life. You may feel like you're missing out on something or you just, like I said, it's some, some type of void that you're trying to fill, okay? Now, your faith may be being tested, okay? Your faith is being tested when it comes to this desire because I feel like you may have been trying to reach this place of happiness for a while, but you're feeling imprisoned. You see those bars. Now, some of you could actually be dealing with someone who's in prison or some of you could be facing some type of prison time, okay? Or someone you are dealing with could be facing prison time, okay? Especially if this person is born on the 12th, especially April 12th or December 4th, okay? Yeah, someone, it's, I told you to be quiet okay about what you're going through and look what it says it says keep your involvement hidden somebody around you ain't who they say they is okay the 12th house is about hidden enemies okay i feel like you may have a secret enemy somebody who you might be talking about your dreams goals and aspirations with and this person don't even want you to get there. They don't even want to see you happy. They don't even want to see you manifest these things. So be careful who you're talking to about your dreams, goals, and desires, okay? April 12th and December 4th could be significant. Aries and Sagittarius could be significant, yeah. Someone's in trouble, all right? Someone's in trouble. Someone, either you, Pisces, I hate to say it, okay? Either you or someone you are dealing with is in trouble with the law, okay? Trouble, trouble, trouble. They are in trouble with the law, okay? They are being blocked. You got Pisces and Scorpio energy here. South Node is in Scorpio, if you're wondering why I say Scorpio, okay? Um, Pisces and Scorpio are both water signs. Someone could have reacted emotionally. There could have been a domestic violence situation somewhere, um, Pisces, but someone's going to jail, all right? No lie. You got trouble and you got the jail bars, okay? So someone's either going to spiritual or physical jail, all right? Mm. I don't know. Someone could have broken into someone's home. Fourth house is, is the home. Or someone, there could have been some type of domestic violence situation in the home. But there's trouble, okay? And if you're wondering why you can't manifest what you've been wanting, the card says it's right here. Now is not the time, okay? Have more faith. Keep having faith. And hang on just a little while longer. Hang on just a little while longer, okay? Just a little while longer, Pisces. 
but something's being hidden from you. Somebody is, this could either be the universe keeping something from you about someone because you're not in that place of being able to receive this information yet. You're too emotional. Okay, all this water energy. Even fourth house is cancer. So technically we have cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. All right, you could be dealing with another water sign. But for a lot of you, spirit is keeping something hidden from you about someone that you're dealing with because you're too emotional and you're not ready to hear this information about someone yet. Okay, because if you hear this information now, you're going to react emotionally and you're, you're going to get yourself in trouble and end up behind bars. Okay, because somebody could be doing something to you um, that they have no business doing. Okay. Now for others of you, this is someone you are involved with heavy on that energy. Okay. And that's up to no good. And maybe you don't need to know because maybe if you knew you would be an accomplice. Okay. Cause you probably wouldn't turn this person in. You probably, I don't know what this is. Okay. Yeah, it's a love situation, but notice how the love, you know, I pick it up this way and show it to you like that. But notice how, notice how it is in reverse. You're not feeling the love right now, okay? This is the 30 card, but the reversal of 30, because it's up, um, it's in reverse. The reversal of 30 is the number three, all right? Possible Gemini energy, all right? Or someone who's born on the third of the month, but you do have the love card in reverse, okay? So... You are desiring, you may be feeling lonely and you may be desiring love, okay? Or you just want to be in that space of peace and love, but it's not seeming to happen. Now, for some of you, this is someone that you love. You can see how it's playing out here, who is possibly an alcoholic. You can see the love potion bottle there. It literally says love. Does it say potion or lotion? Yeah, it says love potion. This person could be an alcoholic, okay? This is the Libra card. Opposite of Libra is Aries. I did get April 12th, which is Aries season. So someone could be dealing with an Aries, okay? But there is... Uh, you could possibly love someone who isn't loving you back, okay? And they're possibly not in the place to be able... You also got courage in reverse and this is also a libra card so heavy on the aries energy and libra represents relationships so for many of you this is a relationship that you have with someone okay where this person is possibly going to jail or prison okay because of their involvement in something that you may not know about okay now for some of you this may not be a physical prison, okay? This may be, like I said, someone could have involved you in a domestic violence situation. Or even if it's not a domestic violence, someone could have just did you wrong, okay? Take it how it resonates. Now, Pisces, I really don't feel like this is you, but some for some of you, Pisces, this may be you. You could be getting in trouble. You could be doing things that you have no business doing but i am heavy getting another energy and it confirms with me the fact that you have all of this libra showing up and libra is about partnerships okay so there's something you don't know about someone that you love and again for some of you you might not need to know you might not need to know but you could be getting a call all right you got courage um, in reverse, so you may be lacking the courage here, or someone may be lacking the courage to tell you about their involvement in something, and that could be keeping them in this imprisoned mind state. The opposite of 13 is 31, so you could be 30 or 31 years old, okay? But 31 is 4, so you have 4 repeating here. Master number 44, confirmation. Some of you could be in an unrequited love situation, okay? Notice that the South Node card says reconsider. So, Pisces, if you are thinking about doing something to try to retaliate against someone based on something that you did, they did to you, I advise you to reconsider. You don't want to end up in jail. Someone's going to jail, okay? Yeah, I can't make this up. This is the 
two of cups okay and it came out in reverse so this is a relationship okay in reverse again meaning that it's probably not you it's someone that you know now for everybody this is not a romantic relationship okay but you guys could also be mirroring each other for some of you this is just someone that you know someone that you that you're close with this could be a mom a child well, it's not giving. Yeah, you got the Eight of Cups. And that also came out in reverse. Heavy water. Look at all these cups. Look at all this water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, cancer card. The Two of Cups is a Cancer card. The Eight of Cups is a Pisces card. The Eight of Cups, if this was upright, this would be about walking away or abandoning plans, okay? But... I don't know. It's in reverse. So someone, if you know you need to walk away from someone before you end up in trouble, you need to walk away. We have this huge full moon conjuncting with Mars coming up in Gemini, okay? And you could be getting in a fight with somebody that you love or care about. I advise you to walk away, okay? But someone, because their uh, inability to walk away, because you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, someone's inability to walk away from a situation is landing them in jail landing them in prison because they can't let go of something okay they didn't walk away it could be alcohol okay or drugs some type of addiction or just somebody could be addicted to the street life okay yeah choices okay having a heavy choice to make libra energy again wow libra and water energy okay this is the two of swords, okay? This is someone who made a, a choice, okay? And hmm, let's see how that choice came out. But I don't know. Maybe this person felt like with the two of swords that they didn't really have any choice but to make the choice that they made, okay? They may have felt like their back was up against the wall when they made this choice, okay, especially if this person was like, if this person was like kicked out or didn't have anywhere to go, okay, I don't know, yeah, someone lacked patience, okay, with the temperance card, someone didn't want to wait for something, so they made a choice, an impulsive, impulsive choice to do something that they had no business doing that is going to land them in jail, or in prison, okay? Notice how the paint, the temperance card uh, clarifies the courage card in reverse. Notice how the two of swords clarifies the love in reverse. Somebody could have been, had you in a third party situation and whoever they were involved with could be very toxic. And then by them choosing to be with this toxic person, this person could have convinced them to do something that was illegal, okay? Yeah, mm because they didn't want to walk away from this person they chose to stay they chose to stay stuck in the past this you know the eight of um cups clear in reverse clarifies this card that says reconsider okay they didn't mm. like gorilla said make them stand on that they had they now they have someone has to stand on the choices that they made okay Someone got wrapped up with the wrong crew or the wrong people or the wrong friends. And it's not looking too good. Maybe they didn't have the patience to stick it out with you and work it out with you. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is like a family situation, okay? Because the four of cards is a family. This could be a family situation, okay? Where someone in your family is getting wrapped up with the wrong person. and getting incarcerated, okay? Pisces, let's just hope none of you guys are going to jail because you know better, all right? This is way too many cards. We're not even gonna look at those. I don't know why I'm hearing Akon. I got locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. I'm locked up. 
All right, some of y'all are putting the person that you're in love with on a pedestal and you don't realize that this person is involved in some illegal activities. You don't see that, okay? You can be very naive when it comes to your lover or your partner. And spirit ain't, like I said, spirit ain't even showing you. You don't need to know right now, but you'll know in due time, possibly with this full moon. Someone could feel stuck. See how these cards don't even want to come out? All right. That's three. Wow. Temperance card again in two different decks. Okay. Money restriction. Testing the waters. Somebody went testing the waters. Maybe they didn't have money. So they went and tried to rob somebody. Went and tried to do a burglary. Okay. Because when a person's money is restricted, that causes them to do crazy things. You have the king of wands in reverse. Okay. Someone was definitely restless. You have the emperor. This is definitely a masculine. Okay. You have the emperor and the king of wands. All right. This is someone with heavy masculine energy. That done went and got they self in some trouble. Five of Pentacles. Yes. Delays around money. Somebody didn't have money and they did like, we, this is self-explanatory. We're just going to pull some clarifiers. Somebody didn't have money and they went and did something that they had no business doing to try to get money. And it's going to backfire if it hasn't already backfired. Okay. So someone did something illegal to gain money or resources. This is either someone you love or someone in your family. Someone's going to jail, spiritual jail or physical jail. Now, Pisces, for a small percentage of you, this is you, okay? Notice you have four again. You have four, four, four because you have the emperor card, which is the four card. So you have four coming out three times. You have five coming out two times. Mm. all right good morning gorgeous mary j blind that's what i'm saying somebody you don't this first somebody is very manipulative okay they have all these nice sweet things to say you don't even know that this person has some hidden tendencies i tried okay stand up Pisces, we might you might need to get a backbone, okay? <gasps> Someone could be on heroin, okay? I said addictions or alcohol or some type of addiction. Somebody's addicted to heroin, and they're because they on this heroin, they don't got themselves in some trouble. This ain't good. This ain't good. City lights, yeah. That, mm, mm. That's them police lights, okay? <laughs> the city of wherever you from. Police department, okay? Anaconda. Someone could have tricked them. Anaconda is a snake. Wow, y'all. I can't make this up. This person was already an uh, ex-con. You might have not even known it, okay? Take how I resonate now, now. Y'all saw me chef with a dick, all right? Somebody is a cheater. They tried to cheat their way out of life. This is too much. Okay, someone could be of Jamaican descent. Ah, they, not only is they on drugs and alcohol, but they also got sex addiction. Lord, look how the free card came out in reverse. They ain't free, okay? They are not free. They getting locked up. And they possibly will be locked up for a long period of time. I'm going to do three more. I kept saying Aries. This person could be an Aries. All right. Or something significant about Aries season. Toy Story 3. This could be someone you have children with. The number 14. So you got 14 twice. The temperance card here is 14. Temperance is 14. You got it three times. Five, 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 five. Yeah, bluffing. Someone's not being honest. Their name could start with the N. And you got lamb chops, resurrection. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Peace, y'all be safe.